Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion. It is Thursday, May 6th. We are getting closer and closer to meeting again. Uh, we met last night, uh, Cheryl and Jesse and I met with their sound person at the new church. Quite a sophisticated system they have. I was just totally lost. I didn't even know what they were talking about. <laughs> morning, Marcy. I had no idea what they were talking about. Everything runs off of a laptop now. Uh, but incredible lighting, it'll be incredible sound. Um, we're, we're excited. So uh, we hope that those of you that will be able to attend Collision will be just as excited as we are. Morning, Paul. Um, we're in Matthew chapter 19. I'm going to be reading verses 16 through 22. Morning, John. Uh, interesting story. Let me try to explain it. I'm gonna, this is one of the part of what I'm going to be teaching on on our very first Sunday that we could get together. Christina, good morning. Lily, good morning. Christina, I hope that you're able to come with your grandchildren on, our, on May 16th. Uh, look, look forward to having those young people again. I love those, those two guys and, your, and your, your two grandsons and your granddaughter. Good kids, just really the good kids. All right, it says, Now a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Why do you ask me about what, the, what is good? Jesus replied, there is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, obey the commandments. Which ones, the man inquired. Jesus replied, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony, honor your father and mother, love your neighbors yourself. All these I have kept, the young man said, what do I still lack? Jesus answered, I listen to this carefully, if you want to be perfect, Okay? It's not whether you want, if you want to go to heaven, if you want to be perfect. Go sell your possessions, give them to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had much wealth. Interesting. Interesting here. Uh, this young man was rich. This uh, young man obeyed the commandments. Uh, this, this young man asked Jesus what he still lacked. Uh, Jesus told him that if he wants to be perfect, then he must sell his possessions and give them away to the poor. Uh, and of course, this young man was unwilling to do that because he had great wealth. Uh, that was a lot to ask of him. Now, Jesus didn't say that you have to go do that. I understand that. He did say, no, you must. What he said is, if you want to be perfect, if you want to be perfect, then do that. Or, what I'll be talking about in our first message on May 16th, if you want to store up treasures in heaven, then do that. If you want to keep your wealth and enjoy life down here, go ahead. But if you want to use it for great value, then use it the way the Lord said, and then you will have treasures in heaven. Uh, so what do we learn from this? What do we learn from this? We can keep our wealth to ourselves and enjoy the finer things in life, or we can use our wealth to help others and, and enjoy treasures in heaven. Uh, that would be hard. That would be hard for some people to just start giving away their, 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 their wealth. Hard for this young man. Now, now many of you watching this are, are going like this. Well, I'm off the hook because I don't have any wealth. But but listen now, listen to this now, okay? He's talking about wealth here because this young man was wealthy. But he, God, Jesus asked the same thing from those of us who don't have wealth but have time. If you, if you, if you have wealth, it's precious to you. When you have time, it's precious to you. Our time is precious because we only have so much. You only have 24 hours in a day. It isn't like you can make more time. So Jesus would say the same thing about this. He would say, if you want to be perfect, use all of your time. Here he said, give all of your mouth away. Use all of your time to help others. Then you will store up treasures in heaven. How many are willing to do that? It, it amazes me. It amazes me a lot of times. Uh, somebody may ask to have you volunteer for, for an hour. 
uh, somewhere and it's, oh, it's just so hard to give up an hour of your time. But you can watch on Netflix or whatever the movie channels are, a movie for an hour and a half and not even like the movie, but end up watching the whole thing anyway. But you're not willing to give an hour to go volunteer for to, to help to help someone. You understand what I'm saying? So, so for you, it's no different for, than for those that have money and aren't willing to give away their money to help the poor. Many of you are not willing to give away your time to help the poor. Dawn asks all the time, I don't know how many times we've asked if people would like to go with her to, to, to feed the homeless uh, on a Saturday. Oh, Saturdays are precious. Oh, no, don't ask me to give up my Saturday. That's, that's, I work all week. I, I need the weekend for myself. Here, here, it's, it's no different than, oh, don't ask me to give away my money. I worked hard for that money. I'm not just going to give it away. Now, all Jesus says is, you can keep your money. You can keep your time. You'll still get to heaven. But if you want to be perfect, if you want to be, if you, it says, if you want to be perfect, he said to the young man, then go sell your possessions, give them to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. Well, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? How, how, how much are you willing to do? This, this is why, this is why Jesus tells us in, in 1 John, he tells us this uh, in verses uh, 16 through 18. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother or sister in need, and has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in them? Let me read that again. If anyone has material possessions, if you have, if you have the means to help a brother or sister, and you see your brother and sister in need, but have no pity on them, how can the love of God be in you? Now let me, let me paraphrase that. If anyone has time, extra time, and sees the brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in them? If you're not willing to give your time to someone that needs to your time, if you're not giving some of your money to those that are willing to, Jesus said, how can the love of God be in you? God says, wow. Strong, strong words, isn't it? Now, let me continue. Then Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you the truth. It is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Now when Jesus said, Hard for a rich man to get to and for a camel to go through, I, I hear this all the time, for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, uh, it's like impossible for a camel to go through an eye, of, impossible for you to go through, impossible for this pen to go through the eye of a needle. I, I haven't looked it up recently, but uh, the eye of a needle back at that time was was some kind of a an entrance to where, where the camel had to get down on, 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 its, on its knees to be able to get through this passage. And they called it the eye of the needle. And for to get from one place to another, the camel would have to lower itself literally down on his knees and crawl through the through there. That's what Jesus is saying. A rich person has to like literally crawl through. And and I don't want to get into the, the whole thing about about why Jesus would say that to 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 rich people. Uh, I I know plenty of rich people that that are that are Christians. Uh, I know plenty of rich people that are generous with their, with their money. I, th I think Jesus is just talking about those that, that are rich, that, that just hold on to their wealth and are not willing to, to let it go. No different than people that hold on to their time and not willing to let it go. So 
How generous are you? How generous are you with your money? How generous are you with your time? Good question, isn't it? Good question for you to think about. How generous are you? I, I see some of you watching this and I, I see how generous you are with your dime. Uh, it's going to be tested uh, when we meet now with Collision uh, again. Uh, we're going to, right now, I don't have enough teachers for, 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 for youth and the children. Uh, we'll find out who, who shows up to, 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 to do the setup and the, and the teardown. Uh, will people be willing to give a half hour of their time, an hour of their time, an hour and a half of their time on, on, on a Sunday? I guess we'll find out, won't we? I guess we'll find out how much people are willing to give their time. Uh, we're going to have to start. We've been averaging just a little over two hundred dollars a a week in in offerings, uh, tithings. That sure isn't going to cut it for uh, for when we get back together again. Uh, it's going to cost us two thousand dollars a month now just to for the rent. Then we have to do insurance and 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 other things. Uh, will the money be there? I guess we'll find out, won't we? We'll find out how much Collision really loves Jesus. Have a good morning. Uh, God bless you all. Uh, there will not be a Bible study tonight. Uh, again, we're I'm involved in a lot of stuff going on right now to get everything to get everything ready. So we'll con I'll continue these daily devotions, and then Sunday morning we will have our last video message. You hear that? Our last video message uh, outside of meeting together. We will we will continue to vit to to record the uh, the messages on Sunday for those of you that watch these videos out of town, out of state, out of country. Uh, we will continue to uh, to 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 broadcast them. Uh, it's just that it'll be live uh, in a sanctuary. God bless you all. Have a great morning. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye.